The under-12s are out as mascots to begin with before the players take to the field. Friendly action in theory. The home of Serie C Pescara here. But it's unlikely to be super friendly in practice, you'd imagine. A couple of real contenders for next summer's crown and perhaps more pressingly in both squads. One or two with genuine hope of making the senior squads for the World Cup in just a few weeks' time. Italy tend to take their senior and junior shows out on the road. That is the case here as the players come out at the Stadio Adriatico. Alessandro Dudic is the man in charge of the team of officials. He's from Switzerland. Before the action, we'll have the national anthems. Italy have mixed things up a bit for this one at the back. Second cap for Scalvini and just a third for Viti alongside him. Nicola Rovella is the main creative force in midfield. Up front, Pietro Pellegri has long been one to watch and he's up there this evening with the Empoli youngster Nicolo Cambiaghi. It's about half and half in terms of regulars from qualifying and newer names. Here's the England side. One or two with outside hopes of senior duty at the World Cup, like Conor Gallagher, who returns to start here. This will more likely be three at the back, you would think, with Sessegnon Spence as the wing-backs. Up front, Rianne Brewster is back, as is Manchester City's Cole Palmer. There's a strong Man City flavour to this England squad, albeit that a fair few of them are out on loan, including 
Cole Palmer. Taylor Harwood Bellis at the back there. McAtee, Bete, Tommy Doyle. Strong city influence in the squad. Not so much pressure on him in terms of qualification points. So let's at least hope for some entertainment. Similar shapes here, wing backs for the pair of them, as is the fashion for so many club and country sides nowadays. Two top sides at under 21 level who've qualified really well here. England going to yet another tournament, the ninth consecutive time. Bear in mind when Stuart Pearce led them to a fourth straight tournament, that was the first time any nation had done that. Getting there has been what should be a tough hurdle negotiated with impressive regularity it'll be time next summer to do a little more once actually there though that's for sure there's Jed Spence one of three Tottenham Hotspur players in this England starting lineup Oliver Skip in holding midfield and Cessigny on the left the others here's Levi Colwell just broken into the squad when injury stopped him at the back end of last year from taking part in that quartet of June games early pressure here on Scalvini Connor Gallagher closing him down well and that pressure has worked Gomez then Cessignon skip Cessignon again sharp start this from England this is worth a hit maybe skip Palmer wouldn't quite sit for Gallagher then he got something on it penalty what a start England piling on to Italy here in the opening minute and Gallagher must have been caught in that maelstrom of legs in there late challenge wasn't it coming in from behind here Eduardo Bove watched the number eight took out Gallagher referee had a great view Well, the ball had gone, but it doesn't stop it being a late challenge. Rian Brewster has the ball in his hand and now on the spot. Golden opportunity for the head start for the Young Lions here. Alessandro well, Plizzari hasn't had a touch yet. More of most of the Italian side. Rian Brewster scores, buried right in the corner. Dream start for England. Back in the squad, having missed the summer, and back on the score sheet. His second goal at this level, Rian Brewster.
That's a great penalty. I suspect even if Plitzari had gone the right way, he wouldn't have made it. For a side footer, that is hard and low right inside that post. Italy nil, England one. They're kicking off again. That'll be a shock to the Italian system. Here's Scalvini in the middle of their back three. To his left, Mattia Viti, who's not long joined Nice, where there's a fair bit of turmoil at the moment. side only conceded five times in ten full matches in qualification textbook miserly Italian defending generally Harwood Bellis there at the back for England as the young Lions defenders get a first touch of it Cresswell too here is again Charlie Cresswell Joe Bursick took Every second he had there. Skip turning away. Now Spence. It's a foul by the new Tottenham man. been getting much game time at all for Spurs since joining from Middlesbrough last season played week in week out and midweeks for Nottingham Forest as they got themselves promoted here's Angel Gomez brilliantly fed on oh that's superb Brewster's got another the daintiest of touches gorgeous goal five minutes played Italy nil England two Wow. Gallagher again with the pressing. Bove again with the mistake. And as Viti played Brewster on while the rest had stepped up, that is worth many another view. Delicate, beautiful and deadly. Two for Brewster, two for England. And credit for the weight of pass to, to Angel Gomez who played him in. Rian Brewster has trebled his under-21 goal tally in five minutes here. A player who was very much the boy for goals when England won the under-17 World Cup a few years back. A very good side that included plenty of players who have since gone on, including Conor Gallagher, actually. Phil Foden of Manchester City, Callum Hudson-Odoi. Morgan Gibbs-White, who would be in this group. Well, he fit and was a regular in qualification. Gomez out to Sessegnon. Extraordinary start. Joe Bursick here. Very much the regular between the posts during qualification. Didn't play all of them, but most. He's got a new boss at Stoke City, but he is still... The number one keeper there, Bursic. Gallagher applying the pressure again here, and Pizzari had to hurry that. It's a rare touch for Cambiaghi in any of the Italian forward line. Here's Rovella, quality player. Plays for Monza, newly promoted to the Italian top flight for this season, Monza. Ravella, the main man in every sense, with the number 10 shirt, main performer, top scorer. Had two touches so far. Scalvini and Strongly. He wanted to throw, he hasn't got it. 
seen anything of Fabio Moretti there in midfield who just got a glimpse of. He's been getting starts for Juventus. Champions League included under Max Allegri. A rather dodgy start to the season for Juve. But Moretti has been one of their young success stories. Just a third cap at this level for him. Cresswell, Harwood Bellis, regulars together at the back there in front of Bursic, especially Harwood Bellis. The only player who started all the qualifiers. He had played every minute of the campaign actually till right at the end of it. Bove has had a uh, distinctly average start here. The Roma youngster winning his fourth cap. It's a slightly more impressive ball. Cambiazzo had made a little run from outside right to inside right there. Gallagher leading the chase again and pressurising Pizzari again. It's working. Parisi cutting in from the left. Well dispossessed by Gallagher who's had a, an extremely busy ten minutes here. Maybe with a point to prove. You've been in the senior squad on a few occasions and then go back into the 21s. It's bound to be a bit of extra motivation. Has been getting game time this season having gone back to parent club Chelsea. There are a lot of midfield options for Gareth Southgate. There are top quality, more experienced players than him even, who haven't made it into the latest squad. But in that midfield zone. In terms of outside bets, you might think that maybe Gallagher, Harvey Elliott, who's on the bench here, could yet be a factor in Southgate's thinking. Never frightened to promote from well, either lower divisions or younger ranks. He's done it plenty since being in charge, and of course he used to be in charge. This level here before A.D. Boothroyd, who in turn was before Lee Carsley. Gallagher again closing down Ocoli this time. Tenth cap for Ocoli, the Atalanta defender. Scalvini. Cole will cut it out. Bove got in there but was clipped. Maybe by Cole Will as well as Skip. One way or another, they made sure he didn't get any further. With a foul for the penalty and involved in the giving away of possession before the second goal. Not a great start for Eduardo Bove of Roma. You can hear Lee Carsley telling the England team to go up together. Here comes that push. Sessegnon stealing in. And it's all calmed down a bit now after a, a frankly frantic start of Coley forward too much on that Bursic will gather Taylor Harwood Bellis here moving around a lot even though he's a Man City player tons of loans he's with Vincent Company again now on loan at Burnley. He was with him at Anderlecht for a while last season. And then he was with Bursic at Stoke in the other half of 
the last campaign. Taylor Harwood Bellis. Gomez dispossessing Bove this time. Gallagher, nice take on the turn. Referee letting a couple go there. An advantage played here after Ravella went down. This is Parisi. That's a good ball. Cambiazzo got himself free in the middle there and probably should have done better. You would think at least on target. Parisi did really well here. It's probably Sessignon's job to tuck in there and he didn't. He saw a little hand of apology there afterwards. Good chance. Italy's best. Arguably the only one so far. It could easily have been 2 1. Solid header from Viti. Now the squeeze comes from Italy. Sure footed, Bursic clears. Decade of international duty for the Republic of Ireland. Lee Carsley as a player. Here comes Spence. Oh, he nearly found Brewster Gallagher. Oh, what a block from McCauley. That is as good as a goal. Connor Gallagher can't believe it. Anywhere but there, and it's 3 0. Keeper was beaten, no doubt about it. A pleasingly open game of football this is oh well Bellis allowed to come Spence, confident, bustling runner with the ball. Kind of back himself to have a gallop at anyone, any time. Here is Skip. Important tracking back there. Viti had just got out of position and he won it back. Italy rebuilt here with Ravella. He's got a little bit of time to pick his next pass. Oh, he was taken out there. It was a needlessly chunky challenge, that. And the yellow card is out. That was late. The referee just saw it out of the corner of his eye. Angel Gomez. Monito, indeed. Just in case you needed a reminder that this wasn't a friendly. That was firm and late from Angel Gomez. He belies his fairly diminutive stature. Amongst an increasing group of young English players who gone abroad to look for first team opportunities never used to happen very often at all it's happening far more now Gomez is in France with Lille 
Sessegnon too eager to win that from Cambiazzo. Another Italian free kick. Coley battling away with Gallagher having just got the better of him but here comes Sessignon into Brewster who's on a hat-trick already and he went for goal there that looked like that was blasting wide of the far post but you can understand why he went for goal Cole Palmer's not had too many touches so far here he is skip Spence outside him Three Tottenham Hotspur players in this England starting eleven. There's one on the Italian bench as well. Destiny Udogi, who they bought a few weeks back and have loaned straight back to Udinese for now. But Spurs fans will be interested in seeing what he's got to offer if we see him during the course of this game. chip from Rovella didn't work but Bovez won it back and Italy have plenty of blue shirts forward here didn't Spence defend that well Cambiaghi trying to make something happen what a block that was Spence did really well Plitzari was out of commission really there having made that save that ball is in but for a Coley even at junior level you'd think 3-0 would be a bridge too far at two very much still a contest Calm head of that from Levi Colwell. Three years in charge at this level. Paolo Nicolato, but prior to that was with the 18s and the 19s, and many of these players were with him. Quite often the way that the 21 coaches do that. Also quite often the way that they aren't necessarily experienced club coaches. As with Lee Carsley, here's Cambiazzo, dangerous ball, well defended by Harwood Bellis and then away by Colwell. Kick starting to flow now. England bench weren't best impressed with that. Didn't seem to do a lot, Levi Colville, in fairness. High line for England, here comes Ravella. That's a good ball. Right into the danger zone. So an England head onto an Italian head and behind. Viti seemed to get the last touch. Seen nothing of Pietro Pellegri there. Just got a brief shot of him. He's actually had one senior cap a couple of years ago when he was 19. That's a brilliant touch from him there, though. And he's so nearly right on cue. Got Italy back into this contest. Glorious bit of skill. And Italy come close again. A 
couple of nearly moments there. Really threatening to halve the England lead. Deflection on the Kambiagi shot. Is it off his own player? I think it must have been. The referee certainly thought so. What a piece of skill from Pellegri that was. He really was the, the wonder kid for a while. A few years back he was the look out for this guy. He's going to be the next best thing you've ever seen. He's playing for Torino now. That's over hit. Well, a long way from his partner up there. Can be argued pulled wide. Well done that by Joe Bursic. Would have been a super goal for Pellegri there. It's a, a Genoa Academy product. And he made his debut for them in Serie A 15 years and uh, 280 days. That's a joint record. We've just seen that. Something similar happened in the Premier League. In one area of Arsenal. Allegri at 16 went to Monaco for about 20 million quid which at the time was a record for someone of that age huge things expected He's still got plenty of time to see them delivered there's another committed challenge or should I say badly timed it was Charlie Cresswell that time there's plenty of these free kicks mounting up now generally for Italy in and around the halfway line Left wing back Parisi up against right wing back Spence. They're both quick, but Spence is bigger and stronger, and he's able to just ease his man out of contention in moments like that. <laughs> Foul on Bruce to that suddenly. I'm hearing that whistle a lot. Palmer. Brewster dropping in. Skip. lot of competition Oliver Skip in that Tottenham midfield as well as this England under 21 midfield looks like we're going to see Lorenzo Colombo already here Italian change incoming Rovella They're letting him pick his passes just at the moment England Parisi. Ocoli up from the back. Kambiagi. Kambiazo. Levi Colwell followed him all the way, right under the nose of his coach there. done well Italy at this age group is they've they've played the best players they can that hasn't always been the case for England Stuart Pearce way back when used to make a few noises about that and you could understand it look at the players that have, have come through with that regular Italy wins it clearly works now we are going to see Lorenzo Colombo and he's replacing Pellegri here. Mm -hmm. 
Just wonder if in the follow-up of his chance there, he might have got clattered. He's not moving that well. Colombo's played 11 times before this evening at this level. Played in all but one of the qualifiers. He's a regular for sure. Plays for Lecce, promoted to Serie A this season. He's already scored one in Serie A. Albeit he's mostly used from the bench. It was a big goal though. There's one that got a point against Napoli in a 1-1 draw. Conor Gallagher's a bit short on that. Cresswell had to make sure. That's nicely done by Cole Palmer. Ravella all over him. Outrageous foul. And every bit as much a yellow as the physical challenge of Angel Gomez earlier. A very different kind of card, but absolutely deserved. Ravella all over the back of Cole Palmer after he broke away quite brilliantly here. Tried there and then succeeded second time round. Italy's main playmaker has his name taken. Sessegnon trying to steal in behind. Cambiasso did well, but so did Gallagher. His hassling has been a fe feature of this opening half hour. Palmer again taking on Parisi. Backing himself despite being surrounded. Called up again for these September internationals. He scored both his under-21 goals this time last year. Has come off Pep Guardiola's bench in the Premier League four times already this season, Cole Palmer, where a lot of those City youngsters will move out on loan to get football, including several in this under-21 squad here. He has stayed to play. That was confidently done. Once again, it's Conor Gallagher leading the press. Endless energy from midfield. Ryan Brewster, in theory, the, the furthest forward, but he often drops a bit, and he was one committing a foul challenge here. A couple of scares on the Joe Bursic goal. Not before England have raced into a two-goal lead inside five minutes here. If Conor Gallagher continues even when it's deeper like that. Given away, here's Colombo. Offside. Wouldn't have been expecting it to come to him there. Colombo. No doubt about that. to won that header but no one running beyond him this time until he first won the Euros 30 years ago they retained it in 94 that side had the likes of Panucci Inzaghi Vieri in it and we won it again in 96 
Buffon and Nesta and Totti and the player of the tournament was a decent defender by the name of Cannavara who went on to quite good things. 2000 they won it. Chiellini and the player of the tournament there being Andrea Pirlo. It's a, a decorated run. 2004 the last time they won it. That side had Barzali, Gilardino, Daniele De Rossi. They picked their promotions well, that is for sure. England get to those tournaments more than anyone. Statistically the very best at qualifying, but been a lot of group stage eliminations. The odd good run in between. Close a couple of times under Stuart Pearce. It's a semi-final defeat in 2017. Amazingly never got out of the groups under Gareth Southgate, despite consistently being so excellent breezing through a very tough qualification process a different kind of pressure I suppose when the tournament arrives confidently done by Jed Spence nice way to pass to find Palmer as well He's trying to just chip it on for Brewster to run on to Good timing for Ryan Bruce. A couple of goals there with uh, one or two forward players not involved in this squad. He might be. Gibbs White, Lewis Potter. Cameron Archer's not fit at the moment. He came in at the back end of qualifying and scored four goals in four appearances in the summer. Aston Villa forward. Injured at the moment. There's no... Gibbs White in this squad, no Curtis Jones. Job done by Ryan Sessignon. In relative terms, the most experienced out there, Ryan Sessignon. 19th cap, this is. Ravella with the Italian corner. Ten minutes or so to half time. They've nearly half the deficit a couple of times. That's a good corner. And a bullet of a header on target from Viti. Blocked on the line as Viti then fires wide. Right place, right time. Rian Brewster to protect the lead that he's given his side here. I don't think Joe Bursick's getting to that. No chance. And there would be your evidence in the long fought case of whether you have a man on the post or not. And set pieces against. Good job for England, they did there. Scalvini taking a ride on the back of Brewster. Cresswell playing on loan at Millwall at the moment. Charlie Cresswell is a Leeds player and has played in the Premier League for them just a few times. Moretti under pressure here. Not seen much of him on the ball at all. The Juve man in midfield, Fabio Moretti. Way too much on that. Skip trying to flip it around the corner. Cambiazzo. And then Cambiaghi with the shot. Didn't 
Bursic had it covered. Got one goal at this level during qualification, Nicolo Cambiaghi. Mid-air nudge by Gomez on Bove. Viti. by a Coley. Colombo with a neat layoff. The voice of Ashley Cole you can hear from the England coaching group there. Neatly done again by Cole Palmer. He's not had tons of the ball in this half, but every time he has, he's done something positive with it. As he passes backwards for the first time to Conor Gallagher, but cleverly done, and he's got it back here. Spence outside him. by Harwood Bellis, banged back in his direction. Cresswell will pick it up. He's very good in those June internationals, Charlie Cresswell. He's up to seven caps now. Coley nodding it on. Just when you thought it might break there for Cambiaghi. Colwell got a foot in, here comes Cambiazzo. That's a lovely way to pass. And a strong but fair challenge from Taylor Harwood Bellis that got the ball. He doesn't muck about England's captain at this level. His challenges are often as firm as that. A little bit old fashioned in that regard. Another little look there at the nutmeg on Miretti by Cole Palmer. The bonus of the Harwood Bellis challenge was that the last touch came off Cambiaghi. Great deal of hard work. And a double bonus early on. A really good half this for England. Two friendly matches in as much as they ever can be during this international break. This one in Germany, just like Gareth Southgate and the seniors. The Italians are playing Japan next week in their other match. Palmer into skip. Gomez. Spence playing it safe. Probably sensible with 42 minutes played. Here's Gomez. Cole will hit. He's played it up to Brewster there. Scalvini suggesting he did nothing wrong. Just wonder if there's any element of studs rolling on the ball here. It was. Maybe Scalvini was a little physical from the back end it's a very 2022 free kick that Gomez
Cresswell. Flick from Brewster. Sessignon was expecting it. Nearly got there. Scalvini to a Coley, without whom this would be 3 0. A couple of similar goal bound efforts block themselves, though, Italy. Still in it. Cambiazzo out to Parisi. One of a few Empoli players in this squad, Fabiana Parisi. Vini down the channel, flag up here on Colombo. Tend to score enough goals to win the majority of games, England. I'd say clean sheets are that regular at this level. Despite being in general too strong for the group, they were scored against in five of the ten games. Keen qualifying. Italy have come close a couple of times here. Into the one added minute at the end of this half as Gallagher flicks it on to Brewster. He's made the headlines in this first half. Those two, really. Jed Spence here on the gallop. Definitely onside, but no one in the middle in white. They're coming now. How bold does Spence want to be? Well, if they're quick, there's a corner for England here. They would need added time, two added time. Scalvini down, having got three fingers in the face from Rian Brewster there. Cannot conceivably be needing this amount of treatment or damage, surely. Neither of these nations lose games at this level very often. Scalvini's OK now. Big strong boy. Added time, in added time. But there must be time for this England corner. The young Lions began this half with two quick goals. See if they can grab another one here right on the whistle. Big crowd on that penalty spot. Oh, it's a good delivery! And the head is off the post and the full arc's been missed. Brewster was there. And yet he wasn't. And it very nearly was a sting in the tail after a double sting at the start. England coming very close to making it three. Levi Colwell's header onto the post. So, so close. Brewster that close to having a first half hat trick as it is he's got both and England looking good it's been a pretty feisty friendly this and England are winning it at half time by two goals to nil Lee Carsley will be a happy coach and Rian Brewster will be fancying a hat trick if he gets the chance in the second half Conor Gallagher's been good England have been good the half time score is 2-1 
Carsley's already out and the familiar sight of the warm-up for the second half that you see pretty much everywhere nowadays rather than players just coming out cold plenty of changes we'll expect during the course of this second half and maybe even one or two ahead of kickoff it None of this Italian group have lost a game at this level before. The most unfamiliar feeling being two goals down. Promotion from within this particular crop has happened. Not a lot. Sandra Tonali, who was so key eventually in helping Milan to their 19th Scudetto last season, is very much in the senior picture now. He did start off in qualifying with the under-21s. We're going to see Destiny Udogi on the right there, wearing number three, Tottenham Hotspurs. Latest recruit, albeit that he's back on loan with the club they bought him from, Udinese. And we're also going to see a change at the back with uh, Giorgio Cittadini on for his first cap here. He's just run onto the field to replace Viti in defence. Dogi is on. And Salvatore Esposito. His uh, younger brother is also in this squad, albeit not on the bench for some reason this evening. He's replaced Cambiaghi up top. England are as they were. Don't expect that to be the case come full time. So a handy lead. And that did go out of play and England have got a corner inside eight seconds. Destiny Adogi doing the defending. Loose ball drops to Gallagher. Ambitious from there and Plitzari wasn't sure. He had a huge dive at that. Relatively comfortably over his bar. It's a good strike though from Gallagher. Dogi will be playing in his general position of, of left wing back. It's where he tends to play for Udinese. Essentially, he's competition for Ryan Sessegnon as well as Ivan Perisic at Tottenham Hotspur when he eventually joins next summer. Dropping deep. Apart from Sandra Tonali, the other who's made the step up, currently making the step up. Lazio's Matteo Cancellieri is in Roberto Mancini's squad to play England at senior level. The barge from the newly arrived Esposito. Speaking of left backs, the Sessignon Nidogi here. Ashley Cole is one of the best around. That's been given away very cheaply. Wide on the drive, but not by much. Fagioli. Under pressure from Gallagher, maybe just enough pressure. Chita. 
Early second half chances at both ends here. It's been a good watch this game. It's a good scoreline for England. Here's Cole Palmer. Fifth cap for him tonight. All of them starts. Sessignon to Gallagher. Now Gomez. That was good from Moretti. That's the kind of thing he can do, and we've seen none of it in this game. Break from midfield. A couple of grabs. It's a definite foul. It's a free kick in a very dangerous position, this. And uh, Rivella all over it already. Gallagher with the block. Wasn't the best connection from Fagioli. And for his fifth cap here, the Juventus youngster, he hasn't scored yet for Italy at this level. Here he is again. Very much the modern wing back. That's nicely worked. Colombo did really well with a little shift of body weight to get into that shooting position. And then he got right underneath the shot. I was maybe half aware that Oliver Skip was diving in here. Could see him just in a hurry to get that shot away. Strongly done by Cittadini. Colwell with the header. Not so far clear though. Cambiazzo gets it in there towards Udogi. Okay, McCauley. England just about see that one out, but it's been a bright start here. And Sebastiano Esposito. On loan at Anderlecht at the moment, but an inter youngster as his brother was. He's now with Spal, also in this squad. Is made already by right. coach Nicolato here as Udogi is fouled. Coley here is flip sides with Cittadini, now the right sided member of the back three.
More neat football this from Italy. Flag up here as Sessignon headed clear anyway. It was a sweet little chip. Nice idea. Looking a little more free-flowing. Definitely the correct decision there. After the Esposito chip. Go, go, go. Come out on the front foot, but you need to when you're two goals down. Italy lost any game at under 21 level was in May of last year it was in the quarter-finals of the Euros beaten 5-3 after extra time by the Portuguese good ball for Sessignon here very well defended flag was up that must have been a tight call but credit to Cambiazzo for getting back and doing some good defending under pressure here good call it was tight but it was off Fagioli getting it out to Cittadini, Scalvini now. Come long for Esposito, just drops for Colombo here. He's looked decent since he came on for the injured Pellegrini. Earlier than planned. That's very well defended by Levi Colwell. Vela had made the run from deep. It's uh, more hurried defending though from England. They haven't got out yet. And they will now. Cambiazzo got right underneath that one. Not scored yet for his country at this level. Cambiasso plays for Bologna. Now watch Levi Colwell. They want to get prime for the counter here. He's Italy definitely playing a good 10 yards plus, maybe more actually. Higher up the field in the second half. Jed Spence too keen to win it. Rian Brewster made sure. Another Italian free kick. Gallagher's furious. Those are the moments that England will be playing for if Italy are going to push higher up, where they can pinch it and go. So here's Brett, call that. Ocoli. Scalvini. Cambiasso did very well there. Here's Moretti, shooting chance. And again, it's Oliver Skip doing the closing down. He and Conor Gallagher have done that as well as anyone in England White tonight. Even if you don't get something on the ball, the fact that they know you're there, and Moretti definitely did. Just in his wing mirrors, he'll have seen Skip charging at him from his right side there. have been itching to charge around a football field I'm sure with a skip 
Five times unused from the Tottenham bench is all he's got to show for this season so far. It is a very competitive central midfield selection pool under Antonio Conte, Tottenham's own Italian. Following Gallagher a moment ago, Ryan Sessignon is the latest to be dismayed at the sound of the referee's whistle. That looked like a perfectly tidy challenge. Novella. Cole Palmer is definitely not 10 yards away. He's still not 10 yards away. And anyway, in comes the free kick. Well, that's a good delivery as well round the back. Scalvini lays it back. Fagioli. Good pressure that. Gallagher and Gomez at least crowding the shot. And one of them must have got a touch on it because the corner's been given here. Solid header clear, good distance on it. Dogi last man back. Fagioli. It's turned into a pass for Ravella, and there are five in the middle. It's another decent cross, brought down by Esposito. Not sure he had time for that many touches. As Fagioli curls it wide. It's good control, but there's a wall of white. Five or six players blocking his way to goal there, Esposito, but he's not confident. It's coming on. It does look like England have been happy to set up, given that they've got a two-goal lead in this second half with a, a deeper line. Slightly inviting Italy on, and Udogi making that charge there, accepting the invitation. Chuckie Cresswell pleading his case. You know what? He might have got a bit of the ball there. He might also have caught the shin pad first. And wrapping up a uh, pretty decent foul count. there again I mentioned he's at Monza this season that is on loan from Juventus they have a, an enormous amount of loanees Juventus playing all over the top three leagues in Italy Ravella here going for goal and Bursic was happy to watch that one wide those three goals he's got in qualification did make him top they are the only goals he has scored at any level None for the more junior Italian sides, none for Monza yet, none for Genoa where he came through. Here's Colombo, well defended by Skip. Every side needs an Oliver Skip. Running around and doing the ugly stuff, very rarely getting involved in the prettier stuff further forward. Certainly a positive start from Italy in this second half, but they needed it to be. They've gone well past the hour mark and they've not reduced their arrears at all yet. Cittadini up here from the back before thinking better of it. The 
no pass from Cole to Carsley to Palmer. Doesn't look like he's any the wiser for having read it. In the sock it goes. Sessignon couldn't help himself again, frustrated. Any contact and that will happen. Cole Palmer's face, a picture of confusion there. Although maybe he understood it, he seems to have perhaps moved a little more central and Brewster to the right. Skip has somehow squeezed that through to Angel Gomez. And here is Palmer using those skills and getting the shot away. It's a really good shot too. The spill could have gone anywhere. Plitsari's lucky. Flag up on the follow-up. And Italy can get going again. Fagioli. He's been a bright spark since coming on. You just see him there making a little underlapping run following his pass. Bit of room here for Ravella. And that's a wonderful effort. Closer than the last couple have been. And Bursic wasn't quite so sure that time. Just for once, either Gallagher or Skip weren't quite close enough. It was Gallagher who kind of got there to threaten the close down. But that had some good movement on it, that Ravella shot. Colombo wins his header and charges down the right. Meanwhile, Fagioli finds Ravella. Spence, far more defensive role in this second half. He took a little risk there. So the Italian change is coming here. Raul Bellanova and Emanuele Vignato both. Regulars during qualification, both coming on here. As Cambiasso makes way, and so too Moretti. It'll be a straight swap in midfield. for the new right wing back straight into the action and on the chase over there well, they've won it high here and that's a blatant foul and Skip is going to be cautioned for it the referee suggesting and I can't really argue with it that Skip did it because he needed to do it, not because it was a mistake. The 
busy looking Colombo than when he tripped. And this is well within range, isn't it? Esposito has grabbed it this time. depending on how the keeper and wall set up either corner or an option here and he is going for goal and it was on target pretty comfortably beaten out by by, by Joe Bursic going <laughs> towards a Coley his touch was the final one, didn't quite time it. Tough header in fence. We've got it up and down, all right. Here come the England changes. This may take some time. Luke Thomas is on. And Max Aaron, so that's the two fullbacks. Tommy Doyle is on as well for Conor Gallagher. He's come off. Anthony Gordon coming soon. James Garner. of Everton boys we're also going to see Jacob Ramsey of Aston Villa who's been a, a very big part of this qualification campaign in fact it was him and Garnet generally in midfield throughout the group Harvey Elliott on as well Session you're making way Ryan Brewster will not get a hat-trick. He's had more than an hour to try and get it. One half chance right on half-time, but job done there for him. And a straight swap up top with Flo Balogun, who played plenty during the qualification process and scored six goals for England in that group. That is what you call wholesale changes. Seven of them from England there. In typically confident fashion, Harvey Elliott is straight into the game with a few touches. There's been quite a lot of chatter about how Liverpool haven't started that well in the Premier League, or indeed in Europe this season. Well, Harvey Elliott, from an individual point of view, most certainly has, taking advantage of injuries in their midfield. Arguably, Jurgen Klopp's best player. And like Conor Gallagher, who he's come on for here, an outside shout for a place in the senior squad at the World Cup, especially if there's an injury or two. Maybe even if there's not. Balogun is quick up there. He's quicker than Brewster. Not that Brewster is sluggish, but Balogun's acceleration is quite exceptional. new midfields for both sides here. Little dummy from Anthony Gordon. Tommy Doyle. Looked like he kept that in. 
Until he wanted the throw, not given. Cresswell. Apologies if you picked up a little bit of bad language there. Charlie Cresswell suggesting that perhaps Esposito was uh, acting up a little bit. Thomas just got wrong side of the ball there for a minute, but uh, I was going to say he's recovered, but Anthony Gordon has helped him recover. Just looking like England have gone to a back four here. Aarons, Cresswell, Harwood, Bellis. That back three has become two with Aarons at right back, Luke Thomas at left. Doyle, Garner and Ramsey in midfield. Elliot and Gordon supporting Balogun. Maybe just to counter the fact that Italy have been putting more pressure on in this second half. Dogi, beautifully done round the corner there to Vignato, who's kept it moving, now it's Bellanova. Second most capped player in this group, Bellanova of Inter, he's lost out here to Gordon. And Ravella has got back to help him out. Balogun. Like Angel Gomez. He's gone to France, not permanently like Gomez, but uh, on loan from Arsenal to try and find some first team football with Reims. Three goals on loan with Middlesbrough. Last turn, Balogun closing down Plitzari there as well. Prolific striker in the Arsenal youth teams, Balogun. Ramsey taking it on the turn and was fouled. Excellent Jacob Ramsey in the June internationals in particular, but he and Garner on the ball here. Very much regulars in Lee Carsley's midfield throughout that group. Doyle, another member of the central midfield call there, trying to find Gordon with the big switch. 15 minutes or so to go. Maybe England have weathered that early Italian storm. I think they might have done. Elliot closing down. Okoli. Didn't quite work for Esposito. Here's Cresswell. <laughs> Ramsey. Mainstay in Villa's midfield under Steven Gerrard last season. Part of a very good young crop of Aston Villa players who had won the Youth Cup the previous year. for the blood in the nose of Cittadini here. Those are the rules nowadays. His foul was an obvious one. Oh, 
And for a side that qualified well, comfortably, and were unbeaten. And won seven times, in fact. They scored 19 in the 10 group games. I guess you'd say that's quite Italian of them. Tighter at the back rather than prolific going forward. Well, it's seemingly cost them here. Two or three decent chances in the game. And that's a credit to England's defence. Gordon applauding the intent, if not the execution of that pass. Cittadini is back on, and it's 11 v 11 again. Cresswell tight to his uh, new best friend, Esposito. Nice idea that from Vignato, who's not really had a touch since coming on. Another Bologna player in the ranks here for Italy. Rovella. Fagioli is Juve Academy teammate. Sparks have come from Adogi and he's won inside a corner here out of nothing really. Just starting to look a little flat and out of ideas but when he gets the ball, Destiny Adogi is generally trying to make something happen and often does. Italy's fourth corner. Headed clear well by Captain Harwood Bellis. Filling holes and closing gaps well here, England. Just when there was a chunk of light potentially there, Luke Thomas stuck out a foot. He was very much the first choice left back in this group till West Ham's Ben Johnson came along and started playing towards the back end of qualification. It's not a bad cross, Cresswell got a bit of it. Harvey Elliott was assured and confident with that touch and had to be accurate. You can see him backing himself again there. Never backward in coming forward, Harvey Elliott, nor Cresswell. This is playing out from the back, all right. Very nicely done as well. Garner. Huge reason, Garner, that... Well, with Jed Spence, actually, they were both on loan that Nottingham Forest got up into the Premier League last season. The Manchester United youngster, Garner, until... Opportunity came knocking from Everton. A lot of Manchester United fans disappointed to see a homegrown prospect leave. Gordon of Everton, first chance for him to run. He runs at Ravella. Spectacular from Plitzari. Go to play from Madogi. No, it didn't. Ramsey coming in. Ravella is down. Italian players getting fed up with the England challenges and England players getting fed up with the Italian reactions. You could probably hear it. A 
few more minutes and stop its time and then it'll be job done. Won't get any easier against Germany next week. Remember, the 21's doing what Gareth Southgate and the seniors are doing during this international break. Normally you'd have one early September and another early October. Clearly with the upcoming World Cup, that is not an option. Pignato. Garner did well. Here's Doyle. And Harwood Bellis. Garner again. Aarons. Happy to play in a tight squeeze. Until the time must come eventually, sometimes to clear it. Cittadini stepping up with some urgency and there needs to be some of that from Italy. It's five minutes and stop, it's time to go here. And although they came out well at the start of this second half, they're not really offered much in the way of chances for quite a long period now. Cittadini again, Bellanova. He's done well there, should be able to get his cross in and he does and he finds Colombo who couldn't keep his header down. Well, there we have it. First time in a long time that they've threatened the Bursic goal. And that's a pretty good chance. It's not easy. Just couldn't get over it. Heads it up, not down. Maybe Cresswell's presence was enough to half take the kind of bow eye off the ball. The opportunity's gone. Ravella who has to be very careful here where well, he's been booked. Don't know if the referee's realised it. He does now because he's off. Red card, Nicola Ravella. Lunging in. Having hauled back Cole Palmer in the first half for the most blatant yellow you've ever seen. This might take some time to sort out. He's going to have to go. You know what, two yellows equal. Ravella is gone here. Italy are going to finish with ten, if they behave themselves. can't go in like that studs showing on the back of the calf it's absolutely a yellow card and so was the infringement in the first half the armband passes over and off goes Ravella eventually it started badly for his side and it's ending badly too They're just trying to get that message across. Esposito talking to his coach there. Yes or no. 3-4-2, essentially, it looks like. They just don't have the one in behind the two, which is what Ravella was. Neatly done by Gordon. Will always look for a manoeuvre like that if there's a, an opportunity to do so. Elliot, caught by Fagioli, who's taken the armband and committed the foul. Looking out for rebounds from this range, you would think. The three-man Italian wall has done its job. Garner got a piece of it. Aarons into Elliott. Always looking for the positive Elliott. And then just a tiny bit of indecision back there. Garner, as he recycled it here. Let's have a look at the... Uh, there's a connection mid-air, isn't there, with Vignato. 90 seconds left of the 90 minutes. The order from somewhere was for Tommy to stand it up. The Man City youngster is on corner duty here. And stand it up he does. 
Back across towards Ramsey, nearly dropped for him. Vignato here for Italy, can they counter? No, that's the short answer to that. Gordon's got it back for England. Garner forward to Ramsey. Doyle on to Elliott. Loves a reverse ball, he's gone for another one here. Balogun was onside there, you know, but he couldn't keep the ball in play. One of Harvey Elliott's favourite manoeuvres, that. It's normally a pass he plays for Mohamed Salah. Coley closed down by Elliott now. England still committed to the last. Doyle battling away there. Yes, please. Yes. Referee, England want to make a change as the 90-minute mark is hit. Referee says no. Into three minutes of added time. Might not get the chance to make that change. Mind you, might be a chance to turn 2 0 into three. Balogun's done brilliantly. Lovely little shift and then the wrong footing effort. Pizzari was smart enough to keep his own diving options open maneuver that can often catch out a goalkeeper that one not Plazari on that occasion and still want to get Luke and Bete on for a debut here tried it a minute ago there's only two minutes left now another Man City youngster in this group as a one of the others, Howard Bellis, well, initially defended brilliantly, then he played a pass for Gordon, and Gordon hadn't quite made the run that his captain was expecting. Vignato. Luke Mbete wants that debut. The ball hasn't been out of play for a, a whole minute and a half here. Coley out to Adogi. Off Aaron's, it'll be a corner. Not a time to make a, a change, traditionally at least. And it doesn't look like the England bench are going to do it now either. That might be that for Umberto. Keeper is the call. Bursic is on it comfortably enough and not in any hurry to restart either well now he's put it out and so we will see a change at the back Man City for Man City and an under 21 debut for Luke and Bete Taylor Harwood Bellis will be more than happy to see his club colleague come on. No, not Huddersfield at the moment. But, uh, a Man City boy who has been involved in the under-19s previously, so he's known in the England system. Here's a doggy. Italy trying to get what would be the only goal they could get back now. There won't be enough time for two. Here's Colombo. And they might get it, you know. Here's a doggy. Three in the middle. Solid header clear. The three minutes have passed. We have had a change in that time, though. There's a counter-attack here if there's time. Balogun will have to do it on his own. Or we'll wait a while for colleagues to join. Check of the watch. And a blow of the whistle to confirm England winners away to Italy that is a good result and it was a good performance and for a good while it was a pretty good game too 2-0 with both the goals scored by Rian Brewster very early on in the piece Italy haven't lost for well over a year and a half and they've had that defeat inflicted on them at home as well
And England will take confidence into the second international during this break. And they play Germany next week. Italy will face Japan. And who knows, these two might renew acquaintances next summer in Romania or Georgia when the Euros come around. It's a good win this for England. And a clean sheet to boot. The final score, Italy nil, England two. Well, the action started very early in this game. Inside the first minute, England swarming all over Italy. That cross from Cessignon beaten out. Eventually, the ball dropping to Conor Gallagher. Just as he was pulling the trigger here, he was taken out by Eduardo Bove. One of the newer names in this Italian under-21 setup. And it was a, a rash, late foul challenge on Conor Gallagher, and England had a penalty in the first minute. A penalty which Rian Brewster gratefully stuck away. Very tidily too. Firm right in the corner. His second goal at this level. And an important one because probably the England forwards in his absence at the back end of qualification was starting to find the net. And that was his second on his 17th cap. And he soon had his third goal. Bove caught out again by Gallagher, really. And Angel Gomez with a gorgeous through ball, matched by the finish. As firm and clinical as his penalty was earlier, this dainty and soft, but every bit as deadly. Fab finish from Brewster. Five minutes in, England two up, and Italy were shell-shocked. By 15 minutes in, it was very, very nearly 3-0. The energy of Gallagher was a real feature. So too Jed Spence in the first half. His cross here cut out and Gallagher's shot absolutely goal-bound. Pizzari, the keeper, totally beaten. But thankfully for him, Kele Bacoli, who was decent at the back for Italy, got the all-important block in here. One or two Italian chances in the first half. Joe Bursic didn't have a lot to do, but he had a save to make here when his clearance was headed back towards him. And Pellegrin, lovely bit of skill to flip it over the top of Harwood Bellis. Bursic might not have known that much about that save, but he made it nonetheless. Pellegrin is about all we saw of him. Soon departed with an injury. Nicolo Ravella here, tried several times to get himself booked. And third time around on the grab of Cole Palmer, he did get yellow. And you're seeing that because that would have significance later on, surprisingly enough. Italy's captain, the blatant pull. This was a big moment, could have been game on right there. Mattia Viti brought into the side this evening with a, a header and indeed then a rather more half-hearted follow-up. Bursic was definitely beaten that time. Rian Brewster on the line. Kept the lead at 2-0. And right at the end of first half stoppage time, England could have sealed it and very nearly did. Levi Colwell strong, got his header away. Not much of a challenge from Rovella and it almost dropped for Rian Brewster on the half-time whistle on the follow-up. But for a touch from Bove, I think it would have been 3-0. Colville close. But away it went. And that kept it 2-0 at the break. And therefore the contest still alive. Destiny Adogi bombing forward here was pretty good as a second half substitute. Most of the good stuff Italy did did seem to involve. Captain Nicola Ravella and some of the bad things too. That was his shot curling wide. The top scorer in qualifying. Juve youngster on loan with Monza. Esposito with the free kick. And the youngster who came off their bench and 
pretty comfortably beaten out by Joe Bursic. And then this rather needless challenge from Ravella right through the back of Jacob Ramsey. The yellow card came out for the second time. And Italy's skipper was off. Capping a pretty unimpressive display by the Azzurini. And a very good evening's work for the Young Lions. Here are the full-time numbers then. 20 shots from Italy would make you think they were having quite a lot of fun at England's expense, but three on target gives you a bit more of the reality. England certainly committed in the challenges and twice as many fouls. But uh, the one red, of course, going to Italy. And the all-important number, nil two at the top. A successful evening's work then for Italy in Pescara. Job done with Germany to come next week for Lee Carsley and his players. And, uh, one or two nudges maybe in the direction of Gareth Southgate. But yet another win for the Young Lions. 2-0 tonight. And they deserved it. Goodbye for now.